Sadly, I remember most of it. There's three of us out for a, a bike ride, as we often did. And mid-morning, basically, we were hit from behind by a drunk driver who realised he couldn't swerve to miss us without hitting oncoming cars. Uh, so basically, he hit my two friends and knocked them out of the way, hit me, and unfortunately, I got trapped underneath the vehicle um, and sustained severe burning down one side and crush injuries all down the other. So I, I still remember to this day being trapped underneath the car, um, feeling the sensation of burning um, and just wanting the car to go away, to be lifted off me. Um, and then I must have passed out. Uh, then I was airlifted to, uh, to Southmead Hospital. Just after I had my accident, I was approached by members of the prosthetic team to say that um, I could go down the route of, of looking at getting a prosthetic. And at that stage, I was in too much of a mess to, to contemplate. But as time went on, then I thought it might be, might be something I could do. So uh, in the early days, when I started working with the team, they didn't have the 3D capability. So everything was relied on making moulds and casts of your face and building up a prosthetic from that, which was very time consuming and not very exacting. So uh, fast forward to what, what they now have with this 3D facility means that they can map your face in 3D, totally accurate. Um, they can then use that to produce with 3D printing um, either a cast or even the parts of the prosthetic itself. Um, and they can also um, record old changes in your face because things change over time. And so with such an accurate 3D measuring system and phot photographic system, they, they can see what's happening in, in minute detail. It's a, it's a bit of an emotional roller coaster because uh, it's now been four years since the accident and in that time I've had to get used to having this uh, visual change. Um, and so to an extent I got used to it, so I think wearing the prosthetic I will then have to get used to how I look with that. Um, but uh, certainly from the first prosthetic that they produced to the ones they produced, the one they're producing now is, is a, a big improvement and um, I'm, I'm quite hopeful that it'll enhance my life and make me feel less self, or more self-confident.